Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the lid latch on your washer and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and maybe a small flat blade screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair we will need to access the back of the washer so we need to pull it far enough forward which may involve disconnecting the inlet fill hoses and the drain hose. We'll also need to disconnect the power. So we'll start by removing these three screws that secure the back panel. And just pull that away, untuck the top edge from in behind the top of the control panel and set it aside. Now next we'll need to remove this cover that is over top of the wire harness and air dome tube. It's got a single screw on the left side. And the hinges with two pivot points that fit into these two slots. And we're also going to remove the top screw on each hinge. And these screws are slightly different than the rest that we've removed in that they're a machine screw type of screw with a finer thread. So remove both of those. And we can also just depress these two tabs Push that grommet down into the opening. We can pull this one straight out of the opening on the control panel. And then we'll depress these two locking tabs. And disconnect the harness. Now next we're going to push that top forward. Lift up on the front of it, pull it back some, and we should be able to lift it the remainder of the way. At this point, we'll be able to tilt the lid and top into a vertical position. Now with the top in a vertical position, we've released the grommet for the wire harness so that we can now pull that through that opening. We'll next take a flat blade and just lift up gently on these spring clips. Those will allow us to remove that harness. Next, we'll take these two quarter inch hex head screws. And these are stainless steel screws, so we need to make sure that we reuse those in this application. Just lift the old latch assembly away from the top and discard it. Now before we install the new one, we're going to remove this bezel. So we're just going to reach in from the top side, pull straight down on it, and that will disengage the top edge of it from the metal of the main top. Pull it through, and then we'll select the proper color for your model. Now to install the new bezel, we'll make sure that this beveled edge is up. We'll push it through from the top side the little hooks slide in through the square opening and then push it up to latch it into place. We can then set the latch assembly on top of it and install the two retaining screws. And again we want to make sure that we use the two stainless screws that we removed from it and tighten those both securely. We'll then tuck that wire harness in behind the retainers. Then feed the harness up through the opening and make sure that that grommet snaps into place. There's two little arrowhead fasteners on either side and those will engage the main top. We can then put the main top down and latch it to the cabinet. Then we're going to lower the main top. We're 
We're going to line up those two hooks on that support with the slotted openings in the main top. And then pull it forward, press it down till the top is flush with the cabinet, and then push it straight back. We'll then install the two screws through the hinge to lock that in place. And remember to reconnect the wire harness. And press it in far enough so that the locking tabs engage. Install the new grommet into the control. Next, we'll install the cover for the harness. Engage the two hooks and the retaining screw. And then we'll put the back on the console and we want to make sure that we have that tucked up in underneath the console with the tabs out. Install the three retaining screws. Once we have those all in place, we're now ready to reconnect the power, our inlet fill hoses and drain hose, and our repair is complete.